Hi everyone, and welcome to another video of the Safi webinar series. In this video, we are going to have an overview of constraints and mesh contours. There are two types of constraints that the user can add. A linear constraint can be placed by tracing a polyline from the beginning to the end of the line. This functionality will generate a series of points uniformly spaced that will be connected to the model. The second type of constraint is point constraints. Point constraints can be placed to connect a specific point to the remainder of the mesh. Let's start our demo. In this model, we already have a mesh contour. We can use this button, Add a Mesh Contour Linear Constraint in this dialog box. We can also use the command from this list, Add Linear Constraint. When we use this command, we need to select the Master Mesh Contour. We can specify a name, and we can also specify the plate size. For example, 500 millimeters. The next step is to draw a line inside the mesh contour. For example, let's say I want constraints between this point and this point. The last step is to generate the mesh. We can see that the program created joints uniformly distributed between these two points with a spacing of 500 millimeters. This button allows the user to display or hide the axes attached to the linear constraint. We can also edit in this dialog box the coordinates of the linear constraint from the start point and the end point. We can also edit them in a table. We can add more than one linear constraint per mesh contour. For example, if I want to add another one here, I can simply add it in a similar way. To edit an existing linear constraint, we use this button, Edit a Mesh Contour, and we click on the linear constraint that we want to edit. For example, this one. Then we can change the parameters of this linear constraint. The second type of constraint that the user can add are point constraints. So in a similar way, to add a point constraint, we need to select a master perimeter. In this case, this one we can click on it. After that, we select the position of the point. We can select the point from the grid or a specific joint in the model. Let's say this one. You can edit the position coordinates directly from this menu. For example, 6500, and we click Apply to display these points. The last step is to generate the mesh. In this case, we will see that our mesh will be connected to this specific point where we applied a point constraint. This can be helpful if you want to connect the mesh to the model, for example, to other existing joints or members in the model. To delete a mesh contour, we use the button Delete a Mesh Contour on the Addition toolbar. This button allows the user to delete all types of mesh contours, including perimeters, refinement areas, openings, and linear endpoint constraints. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and catch you in another one of our webinar series videos.